Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever been around somebody who is so strange, so weird, so intriguing that you were just drawn to them and, and that other people were drawn to them because, you know, they were kind of a spectacle? Uh, well, that's what John the Baptist was like. Uh, and, and really, we use the name John the Baptist. Uh, he really wasn't originally called John the Baptist. He was really John the Baptizer. He's John who's out there baptizing in the wilderness. And so it became a moniker to reference who he was. Uh, now, I grew up Baptist, so I thought, John the Baptist, we've been around since before Jesus was uh, preaching. So uh, anyway, that, that was incorrect. But uh, John the Baptist is talked about in Matthew 3, verses 1 through 12. And, and John, well, he was weird. Okay, in verse 4 it says, Now John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Now, that's a strange diet. That's a strange appearance. He was a strange man. Uh, and yet John wasn't just weird. John was preaching repentance and life change. He was calling people to repent because the kingdom of God is near and, and many people were going out to him and they were responding, they were confessing their sins and they were being baptized as a declaration of life change. Now they weren't confessing Jesus as Lord in that baptism, they were just saying, hey, I want to start over and I want to cleanse life and I'm going to give that picture, uh, you know, physically with what's going on on the inside. And, and so, uh, and then John not only preached uh, repentance and forgiveness and baptism, but he confronted the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, for their religious piety that did not represent God in the least. In fact, before Jesus called them a brood of vipers, John called them a brood of vipers. He just confronted them on their religiosity and said, what are you out here for? Are you just to see a spectacle? Or are you here to confess your sins? Well, of course, they didn't confess their sins. They didn't enter into that baptism. They uh, were just watching and judging and trying to figure out what this is. And then John prophesied about Jesus. I mean, he was, Jesus said he was Elijah preparing the way. He was the one who was to come before the Messiah. Again, fulfilling Old Testament prophecy. But uh, John said, hey, uh, I've baptized you with water. But one is coming who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Talking about Jesus. Talk, prophesying about the Holy Spirit that, that indwells all who believe in Jesus now. Uh, and then John said, hey, I'm not the Messiah, but one is coming whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. And, and that's why it was so hard for John to actually baptize Jesus. I think he'll talk about that tomorrow. But, uh, but John knew his place. He knew that he was not the Messiah, that he was proclaiming the way for the Messiah to come. And so he understood that his calling on his life, and he was fulfilling that. But he was telling people about Jesus who was to come. Now, just on a personal note, I like John the Baptist, but I think I would probably like him better from a distance because I think when you're hanging out close with a prophet, his words confront everybody. But see, that's how it is with the Word of God. When we really listen to God's Word, it confronts our life, it challenges how we live, and it calls us to change. And uh, John the Baptist did that before Jesus' ministry began, and here's the reality. The Word of God does that for our lives, so I hope you are reading and applying God's word, because if you do that, we know God will change your life. Have a great day. God bless.